crash the game. What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be exploring an abandoned mall with the DJI Neo. I want to see how well it does uh, doing tracking inside uh, inside the mall. Now don't worry, I didn't break in here. I know someone will let me in. Now I have to be careful because apparently there are people that break in and slip in here. Some people that are just, you know, taking parts from the store, from the mall. The mall is supposed to be getting broken down um, within the next few months or so. So I want to take this opportunity to uh, ride around on my e-bike. At the same time, use the DJI Neo. I'm using my Insta360 X4 uh, right now because I didn't plan for this. So the video might be a little dark because the camera is not the best indoors, but hopefully you get to see what the DJI Neo captures. Now let me put it in the hair. Let me... This drone is very loud, so let's see. I got a direction track right now, so let me put it to my right or left side. Let me put it to my, I don't know, let's see, direction track. Flying this drone inside the mall made me realize a few things. Number one, the drone really really does not like reflective surfaces. So any part of the floor, like the tiles in the mall that is shiny, the drone really does not like that. So it probably not be a good idea to fly this drone close to the water surfaces. track might not be a good thing I don't think direction track is a good idea inside a mall inside a closed down space like this but let's try it again I just love the fact that a drone like this would literally crash and be right back in the air. Another thing I noticed is the movement of the drone is a bit erratic. Uh, it doesn't like closed spaces. It almost it's almost like it's claustrophobic, you know, the way it acts. Uh, if there are things around it just acts very erratic so be careful when you fly this indoors the drone is also not very good at moving out of the way and it really really struggles when the light starts to get lower so uh, it quickly loses you but the thing is if you're on a direction track and it loses you or it can't keep up it would just pretty much go to the uh, start following you from behind oh shit there's a bunch of glass Even though my tires should be fine, I do not want to ride over glass. One of the things I hate is that we have to stop in order to change flight mode. So if you want to go from a direction track to a uh, follow mode from the back or from the back to a direction track, you always have to stop first. If you want to do any different flight mode, you always have to stop first. The drone already doesn't have a great battery life. I wish DJI would just allow us to change its the drone's direction or its flight mode while it's already flying and moving, you know, kind of like other DJI drones, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, 
I think what's happening is it's uh it's a bit dark in here, so it's pretty challenging for the drone. Overall though, I do enjoy flying this drone. If you want to do something like this, the best place to put the drone would be directly behind you and you will have less chances of crashing. But even if it does crash, your drone will be perfectly fine. If you like this kind of content, please like, comment and subscribe. There is a company that just sent me some new product that I can't wait to show you guys. But because I signed the NDA, I can't show it to you guys just yet. So please stay tuned because you gotta. I promise you, you would want to see this. But anyways. Take care. Peace.